Dame time ended us last season and it ended us tonight as the Portland Trailblazers squeak past the Thunder 102 to 99. We got a chance to talk to Nerlens Noel, Hamadou Diallo and Terrence Ferguson about tonight's loss. This performance you guys yet again are, are in this game uh, right to the very end. I'm um, just building on it. You know, I think we went out there and, you know, played the right way, moved the ball. Uh, you know, made cuts, and got got other guys open, uh, but it's just it's just tough down the stretch. They start hitting them tough shots. I mean, we weren't hitting from the three, but you know, we're gonna have nights like that. As long as we play the right way and produce shots like that, we'll be alright. I think they hit five consecutive threes, most of them kind of in transition. Just can you put in perspective how hard they are to deal with uh, in transition defense? You know, it's hard. You know, just knowing what they're capable of. You know, them two guys that they have can get it going at any time, and we were aware of that. Uh, you know, some of that, I'll take the fall. Just got to be up on them certain screens. You know, the game plans will be back, but when they get going, you know, we got to be mindful of, you know, just getting the ball out of their hands and making other guys make plays and, uh, you know, just make it a lot easier for us. You stepped right in and, and played really well tonight uh, as a starter. What was your mindset uh, coming into this game, and, and why were you able to be successful? Uh, same as every game. Come in the game and try to change it any way possible. Um, boards, blocks, steals, whatever, assists. Um, uh, you know, I want to go out there and be aggressive, you know, make sure my teammates are getting open looks. You know, that new offense is, you know, through myself, through the five men. So, you know, it takes a lot of responsibility and the right mindset to uh, continue to uh, play the right way and just um, just make the ball move. Why, why were you able to do so well on him for most of the game? And then was there anything different in that stretch with him specifically? You know, there's a lot of credit to the coaches and uh, Ferg and Jaime, everybody that was guarding him, you know, did a great job, exceptional job, keeping him uncomfortable in, in the crowd. Uh, and, you know, it's tough. You just think about that fourth quarter, you know, a couple of things I could have did a little better, um, you know, as a whole group. So. Uh, it's tough, but you know we know what we have to do, and you know it's mistakes that we try to minimize down the stretch. Um, it, at least through the first like three quarters, looking at the shot distribution, it seemed like you were forcing them into you know, mid-range jump shots and not much in the paint. What did you think of the defense for for the large majority of the game? Yeah, I think they did a pretty good job. And uh, I mean, fourth quarter, we know they're going to have the ball in their hand, they're going to hit tough shots. Uh, that's what you make all their money for. So uh, I think we should make an adjustment. But overall, I think they had a pretty good team defense. What's so hard about just being able to track them in transition for on those three pointers coming down the stretch? I think they, they hit like five in a row. Yeah, they, they can get hot whenever. And like I said, that's why they make all that money. Uh, <laughs> it was just, uh, you know, we, we should have known coming to the fourth quarter that those two were going to have balls in their hand. Um, so we should have made like a, you know, an adjustment towards that. It was kind of too late when they hit five in a row, like you said, and uh, we went down. But made an adjustment after that, after that, it was too late for that. A lot of gritty hustle plays, steals, that kind of thing from you guys' uh, side tonight. What do you think of just the effort? I uh, just put them work in. Uh, and that's our identity. It's just hard work, uh, defense and staying together. And I think on the offensive end, we moved the ball pretty well. We scored the ball. It was just, like I said, those, that fourth quarter when they, when they, hit the, when they went off. And uh, they really got us down. What did it feel like through three quarters where I think both teams had not yet scored 70 points? It was just very hard out there for, for everybody. So what was the sense of it out there? Uh, I mean, nobody put the ball in the basket. That's pretty much it. Uh, either that was playing hella good defense. Uh, I think it was both at the same time. And uh, like I said, but it came down to that fourth quarter where they, they just went off. and. After that, it was it was pretty much too late. You know, you can't let them catch fire. I'm not sure how much he had going to the fourth quarter, but once once he went off with that first win, then that second one, the third one, then CJ hit it. It was it was pretty much too late after that. After last year, you know, Damon CJ probably better than any other guards in the league. How how did you apply that tonight? Uh, just trying to put the pressure on them. Uh, trying to force them into non-paint twos. Uh, I know how to pick him up uh, early because he can pull from deep. And if he start off early, he's gonna he's gonna be hot for the whole game. So he's trying to pick up early, trying to get the ball out of his hand, and trying to just uh, force him to contest in twos. I mean, we saw a lot of aggressiveness, a lot of fight. Um, what was it like out there for the the four quarters, which uh, seemed like mostly a defensive slugfest? Um, I think we just went out there, 
Uh, we try to stick to our game plan. And those guys hit tough shots after tough shot. And that's tough to guard. How hard is that to deal with them in transition when they're knocking down threes off of multiple dribbles? Uh, I mean, it's tough. I mean, good guards make good plays, but we could do better on that end. And we could try to do a lot of different things defensive scheme-wise and trying to fight over screens a little harder. But it happens. How'd you get that tip in on the four jumps in a row? <laughs> I'm glad I got it, right? Four tip ins, four shot attempts. It'll be all right, though. Tommy, you've talked about how you've been able to hone your athleticism and use it effectively on the defensive end, but how are you doing that on the offensive end? I mean, on the offensive end, it just comes with, I mean, reading guys. I mean, reading how players are guarding me, how teams are guarding me, and just knowing when to pick and choose my spots. And that just comes with putting in hard work in the gym and just sticking at it. Tommy, I you guys were able to keep a pretty good lead over them. And if not, you were just right at the heels of them pretty much the whole game. Uh, just what were some specifics you thought you guys did really well out there tonight? I think uh, we shared the ball pretty well. Uh, guys were looking for the open man to feed an open man. And that's pretty much what we, that was our emphasis coming in the game and we did a great job at that. Uh, we contained um, their guards at times and at times we had slip, slippage and that could have cost us the game. Let's see what the Thunder can do against a less experienced New Orleans Pelicans team at four o'clock on Saturday here at the Chesapeake Energy Arena. Until then, I'm Adam Francisco with InsideThunder.com. Please be sure to check the Suave Report.com for a recap of tonight's game.